Hi, welcome to another FCR Solutions Spotlight where we highlight some of the technology that we've seen recently that can not only improve your customer service, but also your business. I'm Jeremy Watkin. I'm the Director of Customer Experience here at FCR. Today I'm going to talk to you about waiting on hold for customer service. It's everyone's favorite pastime, right? Not really. Nobody likes it. And I don't care how great their hold music is, nobody wants to wait on hold. But if you're ever looking for a good time on a Friday night, I recommend you check out the website onholdwith.com. On that site, they aggregate all of the angry tweets from customers as they're waiting on hold. You'll see a lot of the usual suspects on there like banks, cable company, airlines, the list goes on and on. Lots of big companies that you've probably called and waited on hold with in the past. Now, if you're looking to improve the wait experience for your customers, and who wouldn't want to do that? You're in luck. There are a number of solutions out there. I'm talking about companies like Phonalo, Virtual Hold Technology, and also a lot of the popular cloud-based phone systems have features as well that will uh, improve the wait experience for your customers. I'm talking about companies like Five9, TalkDesk, uh, in contact, those are some that you might want to look at, and there are others out there. Let me talk about a few of the features that, that these companies offer that will improve your wait experience. First of all, one of my favorites is the callback widget that you can place in a mobile app, uh, you can place on your website, or maybe you can place it uh, with your other support channels, your text-based ones like chat, uh, email, text messaging. Um, this widget allows customers to enter their phone number, maybe their name, maybe some account information, and it calls customer service on their behalf, waits on hold for however long that's going to be. When the call is connected with an agent in your contact center, the call then is connected, it places an outbound phone call back to the customer Customer answers, the two parties are connected, and they go about their business. All the while, the customer didn't have to sit and wait on hold and listen to hold music. Much better experience. It's also a lot more fail-safe uh, because customer didn't have to submit a ticket or anything like that. It's not dependent on an agent actually placing a call. The call goes into the call queue just like normal. Um, which also helps your call center workforce management folks. Um, they can predict, they can look at the call volume and staff accordingly. So much better experience. Another feature that I'm, I'm really keen on is the queue callback feature. And this, this one you'll see with phone alone, virtual hold, but you'll also see this with a lot of cloud-based phone systems. In the queue callback feature, a customer can call in when they get into the call queue you can give them an option after X number of minutes. You know, sometimes some companies will do it right off the bat. Others will might wait a few minutes. Um, you can give them an option. Maybe they press five to receive a call back when the next avail available agent um, can call them. Um, the, the system will ask them, it'll confirm their caller ID or ask them to enter another phone number if, if whichever number they want to receive a call back on. Um, the customer can then hang up the phone, call remains in queue, the customer doesn't lose their place in line. And once an agent becomes available, the customer receives a call and they're connected. It's just a better wait experience for that customer. They can go about their day knowing that they didn't lose their place in line, that they're going to get help, they're going to get phone support. Because chances are if they're calling in for support, they really want to talk to somebody. So that's important. And what you've done here by improving the wait experience is you've minimized the effort it takes for the customer to get support. And we know it's not just like the effort of calling customer service, it's also the emotional effort and aggravation of just sitting there waiting for a call. And we know that by improving that experience, by reducing the effort, your customers are going to want to continue to do business with you. And that's really what we want. If you have any questions whatsoever about any of these systems, I encourage you to uh, leave us a comment below, give us a call, shoot us an email, however you want to. Have a great day.